Hello, my friends. Uh, it is time for a lip declutter. I was hoping to uh, do this before 2022 ended, but it's okay. We're already a couple days into 2023. I do not want to finish my inventory, my makeup inventory, before I do my lip declutters. I know that I definitely have some lippies that just need to go. Um, so here we are. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you like declutter videos, lip declutter, any sort of declutter, give them a big thumbs up. I will have in the description box uh, the link to my playlist of all the de declutters that I've done so far. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I, I believe, okay, this is chaotic. There's definitely, I, I kind of have a system. Not a very good system, but I kind of have a system. I have bullet lipsticks in one spot, liquid lipsticks that are reds, liquid lipsticks that are nudes. Um, this is kind of a jumble of things. And then I got quite a bit of um, lip glosses, lip crayons, lip liners, and some stuff that are kind of new. I haven't opened yet. And there are definitely more lipsticks. I purchased a couple more during uh, the holiday season, but I haven't used any of them, so I can't include them in this video now because I know I'm going to keep them for sure. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and get started with nude liquid lips, uh, with lipsticks or uh, liquid lips or whatever I declutter today. If it's expired, it's going to go in the trash. If it needs, like if it's a wand and a tube, most likely it was just going to go in the trash. I'm not comfortable passing those on to any of my friends. Um, if it's a bullet or lip liner or something like that, uh, and it can be sanitized, not that old, and I want to pass it on to somebody, I'll probably do that. But with anything that needs a wand and, you know, it's just going to go straight in the trash. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. Um, nudes. This guy is by Moira. This is the Lip Divine uh, Liquid Lip. Uh, honestly, it's been a while since I used this guy. I will be doing swatches because um, I want to make sure that I don't keep duplicates of things. And, you know, okay, this guy still smells decent. I like the color. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. I've got this one by Rare Beauty. This is in the shade um, Confident. I think this was a, uh, oh, it hasn't been opened yet. I have not used this guy yet. So I think this was the uh, birthday gift from Sephora, maybe? Oh, I kind of don't like that. I don't like how that feels or the color of it. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this on since this is the first time me trying it. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. I haven't used it. Okay, let's move right along. We've got Kylie and this is in the shade... Ulta Beauty. This was a collab with Ulta, I guess. This was a free gift from Ulta at some point. It's a nice shade. I think I'll go ahead and hold on to this one. We've got Dose of Colors. I might be, I might be keeping this Dose of Colors or both of them. This is in the shade Warm and Fuzzy. Yeah, I like that one. Um, and this is another Dose of Colors. This is a collab with Desi and Katie. This is in the shade My Man. My Main. My Main. I always want to say My Man. That's actually my main. That's a pretty nude and it still smells delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that. Um, I think maybe I'll go ahead and let this one go. This is by Beauty Creations, the Longwear Matte Lip Gloss. This has, in the shade is Sweet Heat. I think I got this guy in a boxy charm years and years and years ago. It's actually a pretty shade. Ooh, okay. Now I'm like, ooh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to hold on to that on the side. By Lottie London, Slay All Day. And this is in the shade Fleek. Let's see what this guy looks like. Okay. That's a pretty nude. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that. We've got Lux by Colourpop. This is in the shade Just Imagine. I know that these go bad pretty quickly. Okay. It doesn't have a weird scent or anything. This one is kind of like that moussey texture. I think I like that. Let's see this one. This is in the shade uh, Le Burge. Okay, no weird scent or anything, but texture. Um, what do we think? Here's the two color pop ones. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both. They don't look exciting. 
to me. We've got by um, Lime Crime Lip Blaze. This is in the shade Clover. Mm, this looks like it's kind of separated a little. No, it's okay. There it is. This one. I think I'll hold on to that. Um, mm. Look at this tiny one from L'Oreal. What am I going to do with this baby? It's actually a really pretty shade. Yeah, it's a really pretty shade. There it is. I think this is going to stay. Okay, we've got Ofra. This is the long wear, long lasting liquid lip, and this is in the shade Laguna Beach. Okay, what do we think? Ooh, that's so dry. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it, let go of this one. It feels really dry. If it feels dry on my hands, it's going to be super dry on my lips. All right, let's uh, move right along. <laughs> I took, my, I got a phone call. My brother is calling me. He's They're adopting a cat. Him and his family is adopting a cat, and he's asking some questions. So I took the time to try this one on, the color, uh, the color pop one. And I actually really like how it looks on my lips. So I think I'm going to hold on to this. This is in the shade Just Imagine. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Ofra, we're getting rid of. It's too um, drying. Uh, let's do these. I have three from uh, Too Faced. And I actually really like these from Too Faced. This is in the shade Pumpkin Spice. They still smell like they should. Okay, I'm holding on to this one. It's kind of very similar, just more intense shade, like more pigmented than this guy. Maybe because this is moussey um hot butter drum also by Too Faced really pretty nudes and it smells really really good so I'm gonna hold on to that and then lastly from Too Faced this is in the shade hot toddy had so many hot toddies a couple weeks ago I was super duper sick just kidding there it is um I'm, I'm gonna hold on to it and then the last two, this is Matte Liquid Lipstick by Farah. Honestly, I haven't used this one. I think I've swatched it, maybe, um, but I have not. I don't think I've used it on my lips. So I think this would be one that I can pass on um, to a friend. But let me check. Yeah, this is too deep. I think I'll go ahead and pass this on. Um, I think this would be, I'm going to pass it on to my sister-in-law. I think it's something she would enjoy actually. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then the last one is by Marc Jacobs. And this is in the shade Slow Burn. Okay, this is kind of like these shades over here. Um, hmm. That was Ofra. I got rid of Ofra. This one, I think I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah, and that will be it for liquid lips, like nudie liquid lips, nudie and like pinkyish. Okay, so for liquid lips, I kept 12 and I got rid of five. Um, two of them I actually can pass on to my uh, sister-in-law. I really have not used them on my actual lips. I've only swatched them. I think she wouldn't mind that. But these two I'm passing on to my sister-in-law and these are going to go straight in the trash. Okay, moving right along. Let's go ahead and do liquid lips that are reds i think these are all red no berries or anything maybe i don't know Ooh, looks like one of them had leaked i'm gonna have to do some cleanup um but yeah let's go ahead and get started with liquid li red liquid lips um again we're gonna do some swatches here too um let's see first one we got this guy this is by pat mcgrath labs and this is in the shade um revelation red liquid lip i think the shade just called revelation red i think so let's go ahead and get started with this one Oof. Oh. yeah we're gonna see lots of reds in my collection next up we have moira liquid lip and this is the lip divine in the shade heartbreaker I'm gonna make sure that this does not smell stinky okay no weird scent to it that is such a beautiful red i don't know why i haven't used it in a while okay we've got persona this one i really really like um this is in the shade holy grail i like most of my red lippies 
but look at that color my goodness now if somebody was looking at these and be like well it's all the same Rania no it's not okay let's do this guy this is by uh, glam light and this is in the shade red velvet this used to smell like red velvet cake let me check still smells like red velvet cake okay there it is mm, which one let's do let me try this Ofra one since the other one was uh, super dry. This is in the shade Brickle. I remember really, really enjoying this one. Um, I went through a phase and I was constantly using it. See, it feels a little dry, like very kind of thick. But I don't know. Not as dry as the nude one was. There it is, Brickle okay um let's do this one this is by m cosmetics and this is in the shade love i think this is one of the cloud ones so i'm expecting moosey yep moosey red okay i really like brickle i'm gonna hold on to it the only one so far that i'm like mm, looks like it's starting to feather on the sides is the glam light one and the shade red velvet but everything else Holding on to yes, Rania loves red lipsticks. Welcome to my life. We've got this itty bitty. I think I just need to use this guy up. This is by Giorgio Armani, and this is the shade 400. This is a pretty looks like it's empty, you guys. Maybe I have used it all. Oh crap. Well, no, there's a little bit. Beautiful shade. There's a couple uses in this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my like in my makeup bag because I can use that up in no time. Um, we have Buxom. This is a Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lip. This is now we're getting more into like berry stuff. Oh my god, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. I'm keeping that. Let's try this Lux ColourPop Lux. I got it at the same time as the other one that I decluttered from uh, the nude side. This is in the shade Big Bang. And this was never really... See, I feel like super patchy. You know, like even if I build it up, it removes itself in, in a certain way. I might get rid of that one. Same with this one. Um, let's do, do I want to keep La Berge? La Berge was here. Hmm, was it? I lost its spot. I mean, Brickle. I lost its spot. I think I'm going to hold on to it anyways. From Colourpop, we've got, oh, I don't, not Colourpop, those of Colours. I really don't know the name of them because they used to have like this itty bitty sticker at the bottom and then it would just vanish. But this is really pretty. It's very uh, like ras raspberry-ish. Uh, another color that's kind of similar is this Lancome one. I, the shade is number 168. I don't know what the actual shade name is. But I feel like this is similar to the Dose of Color one. This is definitely a better formula. It's more, um, more comfortable on the lips. But, hmm. I like them both. I'm failing, my my friends. I'm failing. We've got Milani. This is one of my favorite. This is Amore Matte, and the shade is Amore. It's definitely a favorite. Oh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. There it is. Nowhere. Okay, let's do this one. This is by Sephora. This is the Cream Lip Shine, and this is in the shade 08. So this is kind of like... um remains shiny so is it technically a liquid lip i don't know but there it is it's more on the orangey red but i like it we've got dior and this is in the shade 626 i can't remember what the shade name was i'm definitely holding on to this guy it's a weird red that I don't normally wear. Looks a little bit brown, but really is not. 
it's like a maple red keeping that one and then we've got three from uh, Too Faced this guy is in the shade cinnamon bear there's okay no weird scent next up we have caramel apple this one I might get rid of it's too brown for me but it smells so good I don't feel like I wear a shade like this it's a little bit too dark so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one and then we have candy cane this is another really pretty one it's more like these shades over here but I'm gonna swatch it right here that is so pretty and it still smells like candy cane okay so um let's see this one I'm definitely going to go ahead and get rid of. I think this is the uh, ColourPop one. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I am going to go ahead and let go of the uh, Candy Apple. This guy. I'm going to get rid of the Glam Light Lippy. I can't remember which one it was, but felt really runny. I'm keeping the Dose of Colors. Um, I swatched it somewhere here. What was this one? Oh. Well, I don't know. This is hard. <laughs> I don't remember. It was this, um, oh, this was Lancome. I like it. It looks pretty shiny. It looks really pretty. So I'm only getting rid of these three. I'm keeping the Sephora one. Um, and this one, I'm just going to move to my everyday drawer or somewhere so I can just be done with it really early on in the year. So decluttering three. And let me go ahead and count how many I get. 13 and technically 14 because of this one i'm gonna keep it in here for now i know that this one leaks so i'm gonna move it to standing position so we kept 14 got rid of three not so bad okay i think i'm gonna attempt to move on to the hardest category for me personally and that would be lip glosses i have a ton of lip glosses i think they are all here <laughs> Um, I'm taking a look at everything else that I have sitting around and if it's a lip gloss or not, I have, um, lip gloss and then in here I've got quite a few lip glosses. So I'm going to have to pull those out as well. Yeah, I have a lot of lip glosses. That is my addiction. I think I can get started. I can get started with all these lip glosses. Okay, this is where I think I should be able to make a good progress, <laughs> I think. Um, I, I, I should be able to let go of some. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with these Merit ones. I've got a couple from Merit. I love these. Um, these are called, they're actually called like lip oil so i don't know if in my inventory if i had them under i'm gonna have to take a look if i had them under lip gloss or if i had them under lip treatment so i'm gonna keep that in mind whenever i you know do my numbers for my inventory but these three i'm definitely keeping all three of them i've got the shade taupe i've got the shade oh au naturel and i've got the shade pink beet i finished in what um in 2022 i finished the shade marrakesh so i had four total i have three remaining i'm gonna keep these i don't know that i'm gonna be able to swatch everything lip gloss related i don't have the arm space for it maybe i could just try the ones that i'm iffy about i'll swatch how about that okay moving right along this guy is from uh Jules Smith Beauty and this is in the shade Skinny Dip. I actually really like this one and I find it very comfortable on the lips. So this is one I'm definitely going to keep. Um, the ones that I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I kept them last year. Last time I did the declutter are the ones by Bare Minerals. These are kind of like super tacky, but the shades are beautiful. I've got the shade Heartbreaker and I have the shade uh, everything these I am gonna swatch because again like these see like you can see that it's a tacky gloss um like if you have your hair down shit it's gonna stay your hair is gonna stick to all of that but mm -mm, the shades are pretty and my hand is definitely stained um from red uh red lip uh swatches so I don't know they're super tacky I'm gonna put them to the side 
Um, do I have more bare minerals? No, I don't. I've got a couple by Buxom. Let's do these Buxom ones that are already over here, right next to me. This one is in the shade Sophia. This looks like, I mean, I know I've used it. This looks too light. I think this one I'm going to let go of. Okay, we've got the shade Kristen. This is a really beautiful one. Like, it is light, but it's... Like it just shows as my lip color. These are also tacky, so I gotta keep that in mind. But they're better tacky than the bare mineral ones. Come on, get in there. I feel like the bare mineral ones are already starting to feather. Can you see that? Starting to feather. Or this one did not, these did not. I think I'm gonna go ahead and let go of these bare mineral ones. I'm keeping Kristen. Okay, let's do this one. This is in the shade, shade Rose Julep. I think this is one that I would really, where I do really enjoy. So I think this one is staying. I'm going to keep it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely staying. Mm, this one is in the shade Dolly. And this is the uh, full-on lip cream. I like that too. I'm going to keep that one. Okay, let's do this one. This is by Pam Graf, and this is in the shade Dare to Bear Lip Gloss. I don't think I've used these. I bought the kit, but I don't think I've... Ooh, that's, a, that's not a shade for me. I gotta try it on my lips. No, -uh, this is not for me. This gotta go. All right, now let's do... There's a couple more by uh, Pat McGrath, I know for sure. This is Beauty For Real, and this is in the shade Nudist Lip Gloss. So I feel like this is, again, another super nudie one. And looks like there's hardly any product in it. I think I'm going to hold on to it. Um, From Seraphine Botanicals. This is another one of those lip, uh, like lip gel, berry and juice. I absolutely love this one. You can tell I've made a good dent in it. I'm like down to here. I really, really like it. I'm going to hold on to it. Um, this is by Wayne Goss, and I've used it only like maybe once or twice. This is in the shade Hibiscus. This is kind of that, um, see, I was going to try to describe it. Look at that shade. Um, I like it, but I don't like this look on my lips. I'm going to go ahead and pass that on to or get rid of it. Um, we got these by Pam McGrath. I'm going to go ahead and keep all three of them. This is in the shade Divine Rose. Yes, and this is in Blood 2, and this is Fatal 6, or sorry, Flesh 6. I'm keeping these. I got like some lumping, plumping glosses. I think I'm going to move these to my uh, um, lip treatment section, which is right behind me. Okay, now we got these big, the bigger bins. Um, from Ilya, these two are really, really nice. I'm keeping both of them. This is in the shade Tahiti and this is in the shade Saint. I had used a full one of these previously in the shade Tahiti and then I got the set again, or I got it somehow again in the shade Saint. Actually, I love this shade. I don't know why. Um, I, I, I didn't use it for a while until recently and I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, from Pat McGrath, I'm keeping this one for sure. This, I've used another one of these previously completely before and this is in the shade pale fire, pale fire nectar i'm keeping that okay now i'm ready <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and dump these down here. and i'm gonna do the same for these the clutters are gonna go in a little bin so i don't get lost and now the ones that are staying that i already went through are gonna go in here just again so i don't confuse myself let's start i've got a couple of these lifted glosses by uh maybelline i think i'll do those first um that's out of the way sorry i just completely knocked my um, to the side okay from maybelline the lifter glosses um i remember these got so popular and they were all being um duped or duping a fenty beauty stuff so let's talk about those the shade amber shade stone and petal i think amber is the one that's just way too light for me there's amber smells so good still this is in the shade stone okay this one 
feels like I completely, oh, I just got a lint on it from my little towel. There's stone. And then we have the shade petal. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I think... Okay, so here are the three Maybelline ones. Um, they're actually really pretty, but I think I have other glosses that I prefer more. I think I'm going to hold on to them on the side. I think ones that are comparable are probably the ones by um, Milani. I think I'm going to do the Milani ones next, just because I feel that these are kind of similar. Oh, I, I must have got rid of one at some point. I only have two left. I've got the shade um, Luminoso, no, Natural Luster and Rosy Bronze. Okay, let's give these a shot. This is Rosy Bronze. And this would be the shade Natural Luster. I've used crap out of Natural Luster. There it is. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Natural Luster and I'm going to keep Rosy Bronze. Okay, let's do Tower 28. I've got a few and they're not going anywhere. I'm going more somewhere, but I can't see them right now. I don't know. So. So we've got these. I'm going to keep all four of them. I absolutely love it. This is in the shade Coconut. This is in the shade Chestnut. This is in the shade Cashew. And then this one is in the shade Spicy. I'm keeping all four. Um, I thought I had some more minis of them, but I might have used them all up last year. So yay, good job. Oh, I have a clear one. Definitely keeping this one in the shade Chill. Since I'm keeping that one in the shade Chill, I'm going to go ahead and pass this on. I have not used it, not a single time. You can see it's still clean. I'm going to pass this on to my sister-in-law. This is by Essence Shine, 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 Wet Look Gloss. Um, sometimes I just want to do these. Oh, look, I have two of them. Um, this, is, this is by Rimmel. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and let go of both of them. I like the Tower 28 formula, so I'm going to pass these two on. Okay, let me do, who do we have next? Is there any, yeah, these are by Bobby Brown. These are the Patrick Ta ones. Well, let's do the Fenty Beauty ones. I have a couple from Fenty. Where are all my Fenty? One, two, three, four. I have these by Fenty. Let's do the Fenty ones real quick. I think I'm actually going to hold on to all three of them. This is the lip cream and this is in the shade Fenty Glow. Um, this is uh, in the shade Fenty Glow, but this is the Gloss Bomb. This is the original. I'm holding on to that. This one is that pinky one, the shade Fussy. I'm going to hold on to that. And this one I've been really, really enjoying. It's actually was sent to be to me by my friend Sarah. I love this guy. And this is the Fenty Heat and the shade is Hot Cherry. I'm going to go ahead and keep all four. I'm telling you, lip gloss is my mm, mm, my hard, hard category. Let's talk about these Grande lip plumpers because I know I'm going to keep all three of them. Um, these are Grande lips. I love Grande products. If you guys watch my channel at all, you know I'm addicted to their Lash uh, Serum. I have Clear. I've ha I have Spicy Mauve and Barely there. I do really, really like them. They're comfortable as glosses and they do have a slight tingly, not too much. So these are going to stay. <clears throat> I was able to find these in my new lippies. So not super new, new wish. Let's do the Bobbi Brown. I do really like all three from Bobbi Brown. Um, this is in the shade Sweet Talk. This is Hot Streak. And this is in the shade Free Spirit. Hot Streak, I've made a real nice dent in it in 2022. I hope to finish that this year. But I'm going to go ahead and keep all three. Okay, we've got a couple by NYX. NYX, we've got Glam Lights. We've got Buxom, 
power 28 and just some randoms over here that I'm just going to set to the side all by themselves. Okay. Organize it a little bit. Let's do Patrick Ta. I do like the ones by Patrick Ta. I feel like I just really need to just use them this year. Um, I just kind of start, not really separate, but there's a little bit of separation. This is in the shade She's Expensive. And this is the monochrome, which is like a lip cream. Maybe I should have put this in. I think maybe I'll go ahead and move this to my uh, nude um, kind of liquid lip area because it is a lip cream, not really a lip gloss. It doesn't dry down completely. It stays like this, but look how beautiful that nude is. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to both of these. I don't know where, which category they're going to go into, but that's something I will figure out. From uh, Dose of Colors, these are this one especially is a topper gloss. This is the shade Moi. This was the Disney collab. It's, you know, it's a gold topper. I can use it all by, by itself if I have a really bold eye. Really pretty. And this is in the shade Jazzy. Um, I reminds me a lot of the Wayne Goss lip gloss that I got rid of but this is actually a gloss not a metallic gloss thing so pretty it's staying okay I don't know if I got rid of any or I got rid of some not much but it's all right right spent all of my money on this stuff so I better hold on to as many as I actually really like let's do these two by Buxom Pumpkin Pippa, not go or Pippa Pumpkin, not going anywhere. And this is Claire. Yes, Claire, not going anywhere either. I, you can see I've used the crap out of these. These are staying for sure. From Rare Beauty, this is nearly mauve. This is so comfortable on the lips, you guys. I'm keeping that. Um, I guess I can talk about the Glam Light ones. This is in the shade Caramel. This is in the shade Eggnog. And this is in Pecan Pie. Um, let me go ahead and do the swatches. And I do really need to smell them. Just make sure they didn't go bad. Oh, it smells so good. It smells delicious. I liked the Glam Light lip glosses more than I liked their liquid lip. This one here is caramel. It smells like caramel. Let's see eggnog. Eggnog has a scent. I wouldn't say it's eggnoggy scent. There it is over here. I'm going to go ahead and let go of this one. It's not a shade. I'm going to enjoy. And then the last one is pecan pie. Pretty. A little tacky though. I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. So I'm only going to keep this guy in the shade caramel. Okay. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, let's do, I'm going to do this. Two face one. This is lip injection, and this shade is Christmas cocoa. You know, I think I got this last Christmas, and I have not used it yet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on. Um, I haven't used it. It was sitting in my new makeup drawer, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that on. Um, we've got NYX the butter gloss, and this is in the shade Bit of Honey. This is the only one I kept from NYX butter glosses because. This, this was just different and unique for me. <laughs> I actually liked it. So I'm going to keep that one. I have these two. This is, they're kind of, they're better as topper glosses for something else. Like um, a uh, lip liner topped with these. This is in the shade. This is Milky Gloss. And this is in the shade Milk and Honey. I really like this one. I'm not going to get rid of this one. This one, I was like, what was I thinking? This is in the shade Chocolate Shake. This is very taupey. Super taupey for me. I, I, I don't wear a shade like this. So this has got to go. Okay, this one is one I really, really like. This is by Basic Beauty, and this is in the shade Literally. I do really enjoy it. This is comfortable, um, easy just to reuse all over throughout the day. I like it. I'm going to keep it. Okay, we've got Bellon Argent. This is a super pigmented lip gloss. I don't know the exact name of it, but this is very, very opaque. The sniff test, the first one. First thing we do, a sniff test. See, I think this is something that even can go in my liquid lip. 
spot it doesn't dry it stays it stays like this kind of like the one by sephora um the lip cream so i think this is going to move to a different section at some point but for now for counting purposes it's going to stay here um i've got moira one of these went really bad on me last year this is in the shade lovely so this is definitely one i need to sniff yeah it does not smell good so that's going in the trash um we've got this i love this lips lip oil it's lip oil but it's a lip gloss and this is in the shade super mom i think super mom yeah i love this one i've used one of these completely before it is so comfortable it is so pretty i do really really enjoy it so i'm keeping that one yeah i bought a backup ah, who does that plump your pucker lip gloss by the balm and this is in the shade exaggerate okay doesn't smell weird or anything yeah i'm keeping that I think I'm going to go ahead and keep both of the Persona ones. One is in the shade Coral and one is Toffee. I like them both. Okay, we're getting down, down to the wire. Um, what brand is this? This is the shade Dream Pop. Um, I don't know what brand. I think this came either in BoxyCharm or my friend Sarah sent it to me. There's really not a whole lot of product in here. Okay, not bad. A little bit of glow nudie i'm gonna keep it um these i have not used yet they were still sitting in my everyday makeup drawer <laughs> this is in the sh this is kismet in the shade baby Ooh, i don't know if i would wear this i'm gonna swatch it and then if it's something i would wear i'm gonna keep it otherwise i'm gonna oh yeah no look at that color uh that's not for me that does not look good on my skin tone so this one's gonna go back in the package. I'll probably pass it on to my sister-in-law from Kopari. We've got the lip glossy in the shade is uh, birthday suit. I'm gonna keep this one for sure because this was recommended to me. Yeah, I haven't used it. I'm gonna keep it. Definitely keeping that. That was recommended to me by my friend. I believe it was by my friend uh, Valerie. She recommended that guy. Uh, Clarence, I don't know this guy. Velvet Lip Perfector. This is. Maybe this would have to go in the liquid lip area as well. So it's like that moussey, you know? Yeah, it's got to go in the liquid lip area. So this and this need to go in the liquid lip area. And then we have three left. We have LC. I don't know what LC stands for. This is in the shade Bubbly. I'm going to keep it. This was sent to me by my friend. Oh, Lucky Chick. This was sent to me by my friend Sarah. And then we've got Pure X Barbie um, collab. Oh, I always forget. You gotta push the button. This is really cool. It's a little tacky, but it's so pretty, like topping a uh, berry lip. Ooh, so pretty. I'm gonna keep that. Oh, is that it? Yeah. And then we've got this little guy by Shiseido. I need to finish this guy. Um, this is in the shade Shimmer Lip Gloss, the shade 07. I'm going to keep that one. Let's go back to the Maybelline ones. I'm not so sure what to do. I'm not so sure what to do with these Maybelline ones. I felt like... I think I'm going to go ahead and hold on to them for, for now. I need to try them on my lips before I be like, okay, they got to go or not. So let's see how many lip glosses I got rid of, whether it's going to be straight to the trash or passed on to sisters-in-law or friends or something. So, okay, here are the ones that I'm getting rid of. This is my getting rid of box. I'm going to just start throwing in there. One, two, 12, 13, 14. Got rid of 14 lip glosses and I kept, oof. I kept 56 lip glosses. Um, that's, that's a little nuts, considering that's probably most of some people's entire lip collection. But I really like lip glosses. Don't know what else to say. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move right along. I think I'm going to do lip treatments to give my hand a little break from swatching. Uh, we still have lip treatments, lip crayons, lip pencils, and bullet lipsticks. <sighs> a long, long, long video. I don't want to split it in half. 
so <laughs> I'm gonna try to breeze through this part because I know I can. Um, okay, lip treatments. Uh, okay, <laughs> there's some that I really like, some that I probably can just pass to the trash already. Um, I'm gonna start with the brand new ones. I haven't used these at all. This is Lip Slick by Sophia and Maple Fruit Lip Oil. I know I like uh, Sophia and Mabel, so I think I'm going to keep this one at, at least until I try it. I um, have a couple that are still packed, but I'm going to pass. i definitely going to go ahead and give this one to a uh, my friend. This is in the shade Gave Gloss Lip Potion. I think this is something that she could really use. She's been asking me for a, you know sleep in the balm um elf tough cookie this is in the shade of yeah tough cookie i'm gonna go ahead and get this one i have this guy by nars i bought it i don't know i think it was either it was a while back but i love these this is in the shade torrid picked up the shade torrid turbo sorry the shade turbo and i have the shade laguna i actually really like these i'm keeping both of these for sure um from fresh this is actually fresh this is in the shade mango this uh i repurposed the packaging because i somehow got a hole in my keels um lip treatment so i just put it all in here and i have been using it and i actually really like it it's very lanol lanolin is it lanolin i'm gonna keep that um, this I haven't used yet. I'm definitely going to keep it. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping, the shade Cherry Vanilla. House Labs, I love these. I really, really love these. One is in the shade Neutral and one is in the shade Primary. These are staying. Uh, from Lottie London, this Plumped AF Lip Gloss. I'm going to keep that. That's it. Lip Gloss. Should I put it in my lip gloss section? No, we're not. I, I, I'm counting can't do that um okay i think this is one and this i can get rid of this is from my dentist and this is the carmax classic lip balm i don't like these at all i feel like they end up drying my lips more you know i don't know i'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that it says medicated um, from uh, Milani fruit, fruit Fetish. These I really like. This is in the shade 120 Strawberry Melon Lip Oil. I'm keeping that. I'm going to keep both scrubs. They're both by Sarah Hap. Oh no, this is by Sarah Hap, the lip uh, scrub. And this is by Beauty Bakery Sugar Lip Scrub. This actually, um, once you remove it, there's like a little mask left on your lips. So it's um, like also hydrating, scrub and hydrate. I do enjoy it. So I'm going to keep both of these. Definitely going to keep my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, the original, the berry. I've made a good dent in this guy. Um, that's staying Summer Friday. This is really nice too. I'm going to keep it. This is in the shade. What shade is this? I think there are different shade names. This is Vanilla Beige. I'm keeping that. Um, this is just cute. But the product itself sucks. Like it really does. I think I'm going to go ahead and let go of this one. It's cute. But the product sucks. So it's got to go. We've got this one by uh, Milk Makeup. The Electric Glossy Lip plumper i don't think i've used it maybe once i'm gonna hold on to that let's try out these jason Wu ones because i never used them i picked them up a while ago soft bomb what name is what shade they had two different shade names mm, i don't know they don't i don't see the name on packaging itself Ooh, cute Okay, so they look like, you know, normal squeezy too. The bomb, gonna keep them. Uh, this guy by Tarte, the Marcuja Juicy Lip. I'm definitely keeping that. Another one by uh, Seraphine Botanicals. I really like this one. I'm keeping this one. We've got Context Nude Balm, All or Nothing. This is kind of similar to these, um, the ones by NARS. Oh, feels pretty nice. Let me smell it. Smells pretty decent still. It doesn't have a weird scent. I'm going to keep it. Uh, Je ne sais quoi by It Cosmetics. I think this is so old. I'm going to go ahead and trash that. I've got uh, from Trader Joe's Berry Lip Mask. I think I've used it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to hold on to it. 
I have this guy by Becca, and this is in the shade Tide Hydrolite. Okay, this is so old, you guys. Let me smell it. Mm, it smells actually really nice still. No scent. Okay, hold on to that, I guess. I have a MAC. I need to just use this guy up. This is the Prep and Prime by MAC. Still pretty creamy, no weird scent. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one by e.l.f. This was uh, gifted to me recently. I think, oh, it smells really nice. I think this is the EOS, EO, so yep. Keeping that, this one is Give Them Lala um, Drenched Lip Quencher, keeping that. And these two, I'm gonna keep, they're still new. It says Feel Vitamin Balm. Um, this was sent to me by my friend. And I've got Sunset Sunset to the Stars Lip Oil. This look, I gotta show you this guy. It actually looks really good. Really look at it, looks so pretty. I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna keep it. Um, I didn't do too hot with the lip balms, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and count how many I kept and how many I decluttered. I got rid of one, two, three, four, five. And then let me really count, count real quick how many I kept. I kept 29 lip balm products slash lip scrub, lip oil, whatever treatment oil stuff is. All right. I'm going to move this along. Okay, I think I'm going to do lip crayons and follow it with lip liners. So the only thing that would be remaining is bullet lipsticks. Um, so let's do this. We'll do lip crayons or lip, lip pencils. Got quite a few. <laughs> There's some that I know. Um, okay, uh, where do I want to begin? Uh, this is okay. Whew, deep breath, lip crayons, lip whatever. This guy, I'm going to get rid of. This is by e.l.f. I do not like the shade on my lips. This is in the shade Dragon Fruit. It still smells good. Actually, it's so pretty. How do I not like it? Hmm. What time it is? It's time to swatch on the lips. Hmm. It's actually really pretty on the lips. I'm keeping it. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm definitely going to keep this one. This is by Lipstick Queen. This is a very reflective real view mirror lip placker in the shade is Little Red Convertible. Oh, I don't think I can twist it back. I can't twist it too much, but here it is. Uh, let's do these by Maybellines. I do really like them. This is in the shade Hustle and Heels. No, which one? This is Hustle and Heels. Enjoy the view and pave the road. Let me Okay, these can twist back down. Good. This is Hustle in Heels. It's like an orange red. I think I'm going to hold on to all three of them, to be honest. This is Enjoy the View. I've definitely used quite a bit of this one. And then the last one is in the shade, what was it? Paved the Road. I used once. <laughs> so pretty. I'm keeping it. Keeping all of this. Um, by L'Oreal, this is the matte lip crayon, and this is in the shade Little Chili. Okay, doesn't look weird or anything. It's dry, very, very dry. I'm going to get rid of this one. Super dry. Um, we've got ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is in the shade Trust Me. Okay, now that these go bad. Oh, yeah. Doesn't want to go back in, but that's all right. I'm keeping that for sure. Mm, NARS, I'm definitely keeping this Cruella. I have two of them. I'm keeping both of them. Um, oh, this one by House Labs. This is really, really pretty. I'm definitely keeping this. This is in the shade Scarlet Matte super beautiful i'm keeping that the same with the one from hourglass it stays in its packaging because it's so pretty this is the confession lipstick in the shade is red zero look at that i love it look at that packaging i need to use it up before it goes bad definitely need to use this guy up i think it's time to get rid of the packaging 
Um, we've got by Tristique. I have a couple from Tristique, and they're actually really good um, lip crayons. The ones by Tristique. This is in the shade English Rose. I think maybe I'll get rid of English Rose. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. This is the one that comes with the lip balm. But I'm going to get rid of that. I have Flor Tuscan One, um, Belize Bordeaux, and Florence Fig. Florence Fig, I've used one of these completely before. And I know I really, really like it. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm definitely keeping Tuscan Wine. It's a very pretty color. And then lastly, I have Belize Bordeaux. I've definitely used the crap out of this guy. Mm, I think Belize Bordeaux I can get rid of. Okay. Not that many left. Faded Clementine by M Cosmetics. I'm keeping that. Belle from uh, Nude Sticks. Ooh, so creamy. I'm gonna keep that. I have this guy by Clinique. It was very late to the game. This is in the shade Black Honey. Is it a lip balm? It is a lip balm. I need to put it in the lip balm area. Look, I don't like how's that gonna look good on my lips? I don't know. But it's popular, so staying. From makeup wait, I thought this makeup by Mario. Oh, this is the makeup by Mario. This is in the shade Bronze Glow. You guys, these were just sold out for the longest time. You can't twist them back down once you twist them up. But here it is. It's actually really pretty. From ColourPop, this is the blotted lip in the shade On Film. What's that? Oh, looks like a um, lint. Hmm. See, like this and the Clinique, I think I need to move to like a lip balm area. We have nudies. Um, this is in the shade Naughty and Spice. Yeah, I like this. We've got, oh, there's more Tristique. This is in the shade Chili Red. I'm keeping that. Definitely keeping this uh, Fleck, Freck. I think it's Freck. This is in the shade Freck Rust. The shade is Make Makeup Club. I don't know. I think the shade is Rust and the brand is Freck, but I. I'm in love with the shade. Look at that, so pretty. I'm keeping that. And then we got Mademoiselle. Is it called Mademoiselle? No, it's called Madame. These are the Mademoiselle lips by Fenty Beauty and this is in the shade Madame. It smells decent, nothing wrong with it. Okay, staying. Easy peasy. So from the lip crayon area, I got rid of three. And let me go ahead and count how many I kept. I kept 21. I got rid of three. Not too bad. Let's move this along to the side. All right, we have a lot to go through still. Let's do lip liners. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do is uh, bullet lipsticks. Lip liners. I went a bit crazy last year. Uh, honestly, I don't think that I'm going to declutter much from here. I have been really getting into lip liners and I feel like they really make my lip color last. Okay, here's what I'm going to do for lip liners. I'm going to take some time um, to separate them into nudes and not so nudes. And then I think I'm going to have to swatch. Yeah, I think this is as well as, as separated as I can make them. Uh, let's start with this one. Uh, Essence in the shade Indian Pink. Indian Pink? Yeah. Indian Pink. Pretty, but it feels pretty dry. I'm going to go ahead and let that go. Uh, Ruby Woo by MAC. Super dry. wonder if I sharpen them. Maybe before I get rid of them, I can sharpen them. See, like, this is really dry. Okay, starting to warm up, maybe. I don't know. This is... I don't know. I don't want to stain my hands anymore. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to sharpen these two. Otherwise, they're going to go in the trash. This is by LA Girl. This is the Shockwave Neon Lip Liner in the shade Fiery. I'm going to keep, most likely, keeping all the lip liners. This is a beautiful one by LA Girl and actually like works really, really nicely. I would recommend. This is in the shade Relentless Red from Thrive. This is in the shade Devon. I don't think I've used this guy at all. Um, I haven't used it and it's it's pretty, but it's not I don't have lipsticks in this shade. I'm gonna go
go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm keeping Ruby Woo, and I'm going to get rid of these two so far. Um, let's see, we've got Pat McGrath Perma Gel in the shade Major. I'm keeping that. Ella Masca Lip Pencil. Uh, this is in the shade Lost. I have another one. This is in the shade Media. I'm going to keep both of these, I believe. Here's Media. And here's Lost. Yeah, they still feel pretty nice. I'm keeping these. From Dose of Colors, this is a weird one. This is in the shade Hot Ticket. I haven't used it yet. I, that's bright. I think my sister-in-law would wear this. That's going. Okay. We've got, uh, this is by Colourpop collab with um, Hocus Pocus, Spinister Ladies. I'm keeping that. This is, what is this? Moonlit. The shade is Core. Ooh, nice. I'm keeping that. Let's talk about nudes now. Uh, the ones from LA Girl are really, really nice. This is the shade Forever Bear. This might be a little too light, but I'm keeping them. Kylie, Ulta Beauty. This is Huda Beauty in the shade Honey Beige. I'm keeping these. We've got Buxom. This is in the shade Hush Hush. One side is like a, this could be in the lip crayon area. I'm keeping that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the little one from Buxom. I think this is in the shade Dolly. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. Uh, what else do we have? We've got... This is by Wayne Goss. The Essential Lip Pencil. And this is in the shade Mauve. I don't find it mauve at all. I'm going to keep it. This is also by Wayne Goss. And this is in the shade Medium Nude. It's very contouring like keeping that. I'm gonna keep all of the rest. LA Girl, non-stop nude. Got LA Girl Bear. We've got LA Girl Sugar and Spice. That's a really pretty one. Oh, another Wayne lip gloss. This is in the shade uh, Natural Berry. This is by uh, Delilah, and this is actually a really nice one, like a really nice formula. Yeah, very creamy. I think these are all stained. Well, let's see this one. This is, it's complicated by Dose of Colors. Ooh, this is, oh, mm -hmm. there you go. That's got to go. I hate the Dose of Color lip glosses because they do, not lip glosses, lip liners. They always break. And then we have six remaining by Milani. Cafe Ole, really nice by Milani. Shade Spice, that's really nice as well. From NYX, I have three from them. Um, London, Peekaboo Neutral, and Ever. And then this is by LA Girl. And this is in the shade, this is Nude Lip Liner Jade Gingerbread. I think this is another contour shade. Oh, yeah. It's definitely contour shade. I actually too contour for me. This would be more appropriate for someone with a tanner skin tone. I'm going to go ahead and press that on. So I got rid of how many lip liners? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to go ahead and count how many are remaining. I kept 24 lip liners and I got rid of six. Longest category. Is it longest? I guess maybe not the longest. I think the lip gloss was longest, but now we're going to go ahead and move on to bullet lipsticks. Of course, I found some uh, liquid lips that I had set up in there because they were leaking otherwise. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk about them real quick because I believe I'm keeping all, all of them. Those are, again, these are liquid lip. They were just sitting in here. They're all by NARS. These are the Power Matte. Power Matte, is that what it's called? Power Matte Lip Pigment. I got the shade Don't Stop. I have the shade uh, Cherry Bomb, I have the shade Star Woman, and the shade Vein. I'm keeping all four. I love the formula, and yeah, these go. These will be counted in my liquid lip area, not in bullet lipsticks. Let's start with one that I love. Um, this is by Gwen Stefani. This is in the shade Original Recipe. I love this color. It is so, so pretty, you guys. So pretty. 
there it is beautiful look um beautiful that's staying oh, we're doing separating um uh, from kylie we have the shade boss this is a matte okay that looks nice we have oh by beer minerals this is in the shade strip still smells okay okay i'm gonna keep it i think let's do nudes we got more nudes we have these are dose of colors collab with desi and katie we have hey girl and we have aftermath oh look see i've used it with other lippies oh man i hate when they get so dirty like that it needs to be wiped there's this one and then hey girl hey girl's lighter but they're really pretty nudes but like a little bit deeper gloss they would be so pretty okay staying i have this guy from Ciate london and this is just i mean it's so pretty to look at but i don't wear this one this is a jessica rabbit um lipstick because it's got like the shimmers but i love the packaging so it stays because of that it's gonna be rough i don't know how much i can get rid of here but i'm trying or i'm gonna try from ColourPop, this is hocus pocus and this is in the shade mary i really really like this one it's a deeper red i'm keeping that um this is the what's the collection uh oogie boogie the nightmare before christmas and this is the shade oogie boogie i have a hair on it oh pretty i'm gonna keep that which ones are nudes liar by urban decay this is a like my perfect nude you know keeping that <clears throat> What's the card? I think this is Wayne Goss. Yeah, Wayne Goss in the shade Walnut. I'm keeping Wayne Goss Walnut. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I have more nudes here. Yep, I've got this guy. This is by Mented. And this is in the shade Peach, please. I really like this shade. Like, really like this shade. Beautiful shade. Here's that. I think the other one is a red. Um, Real Her Girl Power. Doesn't look like it's used at all. Okay. I think it's staying from YSL. This is a weird one. It's like a pink. Actually, it's not as pink as I thought it was. I'm keeping that. Okay, let's do this one. This is by Beauty Bakery, and this is in the shade uh, Raspberry. Iced Raspberries. Ooh, it's very unique. I do not wear shades like this. I do want to try it. From, Ma from NARS, this is in the shade Dragon Girl. This is so pretty. Oh, yeah, keeping that. Yeah, this is going to be rough. From Makeup Forever, we've got Rouge Artist, what shade? 406 Cherry Muse. That's staying as well. We have Maple from Bite. I think I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. My first decor so far? Wow, okay. From Urban Decay, this is Doubt. Lots of reds. And I keep that one. We've got Kylie, and this shade is Madeline. Mm, it's so creamy. I'm gonna keep that. We've got Gingerbread Man by Too Faced. This is another one that I just really, really like. The shade of it reminds me a lot of that Freck Beauty uh, shade Rust. Similar, not the same, similar. We've got Lip Stories by Sephora, and this is in the shade Spring Break. Okay, looks like, what did I use? Something blue before it? Here it is. 
from Milani. This is a, this was a disappointment in the shape of it. I thought it was gonna be <clears throat> it's not a disappointment, but I thought it was gonna be the 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 lipsticks they got so popular with. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. It's not oh boy, I totally just stabbed it. I'm gonna let this one go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and let go of the bare mineral strip one too. We've got Milani. I gotta get rid of this guy. It's just but I love the shade. I love the shade. There it is. Keeping it and then minted. This is red carpet. That's pretty. I'm keeping that. Okay, I think I'm going to move on to the ones I have from Fat and Grab, the ones that I've used and are open. They probably will all stay. Uh, we've got Major Red. This is a uh, shine one. I'm going to keep that. These two are the matte. One is in the shade Venus and Furs. And then the shade Christy. Christy is another one of my perfect nudes. This one and... Liar by Urban Decay are my go-to. If I need like a nude, a good nude that I know works, that's that. Um, this is in the shade uh, Bl Blitz Trans uh, Flush Fatal. So this is like that shiny one, but the shine on this one is actually doable, unlike the one by CLT London, so I can wear this. <laughs> and then this guy is in the shade 1995. looks much lighter than it swatches right yeah i'm keeping that one too and this is the bridgerton collab one of her bridgerton collab this is the shade negligee oh i got so upset my son accidentally closed closed it while it was open i was like dude you gotta buy me a new one but there it is see it's all in the tube it's a really pretty shade i'm keeping that okay i got these and i'm gonna keep keep on i got four by givenchy these are the shades uh 37 sheer velvet 17 sheer velvet 116 intense silk and 37 intense silk i'm keeping them i've only swatched them so far but they're gonna stay in my I'm not going to get rid of them. These two I've only swatched so far too. I haven't used them. This is the Gucci in the shade uh, Eddie Scarlet. Let me show you this guy. So pretty. The packaging is just stunning. And then there it is. Beautiful red. And then the one from Dior. This is the Rouge Dior Forever Intense Couture Color. And I think this is shade 999, which is their classic red. Yeah, I haven't used it yet. I need to use it. So these are definitely going to stay. We've got only a couple more. Um, there's a lot of Macs. So I'm going to leave the Mac to the end. But let's do these. We have from Charlotte Tilbury. I have four from Charlotte. Um, this one is Patsy Red. Keeping Patsy Red. We've got uh, Velvet Underground. This is a hot pink shade we've got bitch perfect it's a nude again it was stabbed and then i got walk of no shame really pretty i'm keeping all of these okay we've got by patrick ta i'm gonna keep this one too this is in the shade that's why she's late really beautiful um we have from becca this is in the shade petal this is a cool tone I think this is, it's actually, Becca's no longer around. Still smells good. I think I'm going to hold on to it. Um, I have this one from Pure X Barbie, Pure X Barbie collab. There it is. I think this is the shade Boss, CEO. I'm going to keep that. From Mary, I love this thing. This is in the shade Slip. It's not going anywhere. Super comfortable. Um, have three from Milani. This is in the shade uh, Petal, shade uh, Pleasure, and Tease. I discovered these way before. Ooh, what's that on top? I think I'm going to have to let it go. See that color? I don't know. I'm going to have to let this one go. That's Tease. This is Pleasure. 
Okay, I just use it over different mood. And this is in the shade Petal. So pretty. I'm keeping these two. I gotta get rid of this one. It looked like a little bit. I can't tell what this is. If I just used it over something or what. That doesn't look like I used it over something. It looks like it's gone bad. Going in the trash. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I think one of my basements also went bad. Um, this is in the shade Victory Red. There's Victory Red. I think that's the one that went bad. This is in the shade Red Velvet. Oh, see this one. Definitely gonna get both that. And then this is in the shade Basony Red. Okay, this looks normal still. I think Victory Red's gonna go too. It doesn't have that weird spot on it. It just like looks used. Let me smell it. <clears throat> I love this shade. There it is. Yeah, it doesn't look like it went bad. It just, like the other one definitely went bad. I can tell. It's got like a, see the spot here? Yeah, that's going to go. <clears throat> okay, now the only ones remaining for bullet lipsticks are the ones from MAC. Okay, let's do MAC lipsticks. Uh, again, probably a lot of red and a lot of them are going to stay. So just bear with me. Okay, let's start with these ones. I think these are reds and the rest are nudes. I think. <laughs> let's start. Uh, we've got MAC and this is Red Herring lipstick. That was a collab with Keith Herring. Where's that? It is a pretty. MAC Sea, the Viva Glam Sea. We've got Russian Red. This was a uh, Lunar New Year collab, I think. We've got, what's this one? This is in the shade Viva Glam 1. This is a deeper red. All of them are staying. This one is a Ladybug. Oh, is, I think this is a cream one. Luster. So very shiny. Okay. We've got Ruby Woo. Okay, still looks good. It's a retro matte, so super dry. This is in the shade Chili. We've got Relentlessly Red. This is one of the brighter ones. This reminds me a lot of that uh, Beauty Bakery one that I swatched earlier. We've got Rouge on Snow. Oh my gosh, all the reds. I love it. We've got, uh, this is Out with a Bang and this is Amplified Cream. This I thought that this was uh, kind of out of my comfort zone, but it looks really good on my lips. I really enjoy it. And then we've got a uh, potent petal. It's another cream. And then your wish is my command. What's this one called? Whole new world. This is definitely a beautiful color. Very unique. Okay, here are the reds by MAC. I'm keeping all of them, like I said. And then these are the remaining ones. We've got uh, Once Upon the Stars. Looks fine. I'm not going to swatch it. This one is in the shade Jar of Stars. Looks good too. We've got Shimmer and Spice. Shimmer and Spice? Yeah. This is a interesting one. I got three in my collection of those. <laughs> um, and then we have Kinda Sexy. Looks good. Nothing wrong with it. This is in the shade Cream in Your Coffee. I like this one. It's very creamy and actually looks really nice. We've got Mare, and then lastly, Flat Out Fabulous, which is oof, 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 oof. I think maybe this one I gotta let go of. I'm not gonna wear it. Yep, time for it to go. I didn't do very well with the bullet lipsticks. I didn't declutter many. I got rid of six only, and then I'll go ahead and count how many I kept. 
I kept a total of 59 bullet lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back into the drawer and I'll show you what my drawers look like right now. Um, and that technically, well, that is the end of this video. I know it was super long. Thank you so much for staying all the way to the end. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. I really needed to do this. And again, I do have more lipsticks that I purchased during the holidays. They have not been pulled into shop my stash. They have not been uh, organized into my new makeup door. So I didn't count them in today's declutter because they're still brand new, basically. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay uh, tuned for more videos to come from me. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. And thank you again. I appreciate you all. Okay, I wanted to show you how my lip drawer look. I have two lip drawers. I've got my liquid lipsticks here, lip treatments, balms and all that. Uh, liquid lipsticks nudes, lip crayons, the pencil, sorry, lip crayons, the one above it, we've got bullet lipsticks, lip glosses, lip glosses, lip glosses, these are like more lip scrubs and all that that didn't fit somewhere else, and then on my vanity, I've got my MAC lipsticks sitting there, and some more lipsticks sitting there, and here's my declutter box.